All right, we just finished uh, trusses. Now we're moving on to frames and machines, which are just, just kind of more complicated trusses. Trusses were easy in that all the members of a truss were two force members, so the force inside those members uh, were just in tension or compression. Now we have members that aren't two force members, uh, so we can't treat it like a truss. Now there are some similarities. Some We can uh, think some of the same things, uh, but we have to treat them differently uh, than trusses. So, so we'll, we'll say frames and machines. Uh, frames are designed to be stationary. Machines are designed to move. And in this class, statics, they're both static. Uh, they're not moving, so it really doesn't matter to us. Uh, we're grouping frames and machines together. So uh, what can we do for frames and machines? Well, just like, I don't know about all the problems we've been doing, the whole structure, the whole frame or the whole machine is in equilibrium, it's not moving. So we can look at the whole free body diagram and we can sum the forces in x equals zero, sum the force in y equals zero, sum the moments about any point equal to zero. So we still have those three equilibrium equations for looking at the whole free body diagram. So that, that's a good place to start if we don't know where else to start. Uh, and then once we do that, you know, when we were looking at trusses, we could, after we did the whole free body diagram, then we could look at a joint. Or if we were looking at trusses, when we look at the whole free body diagram, then we could cut it and look at a section. This one, what we can do is we can look at one member by itself. All right, so we can look at the whole free body diagram, then we can look at one member by itself, kind of take it apart. And when you take it apart, then the place where the two members were touching, that kind of opens that up, that kind of exposes any internal forces, any forces between members. Um, and so then we can draw. So if there's a pin that connects two members, uh, then once we separate those two members at the pin, then we can draw the force at the pin. If there's a pin, we, then we can draw the BX and the BY. Remembering that one member feels the BX and BY in one direction. The other member feels the BX and BY equal in opposite direction. So once you guess or once you figure out what direction it is on one member, then be sure to draw it the opposite direction on the other member. Okay? All right. So let's. Uh, that's a brief explanation. It'll become a lot more clear as we work through these problems. We have a lot of examples and problems that we can look at.